So I wanted to do a flip through of our playing book for our seventh and eighth graders because the one I did of the beginners seemed to be helpful. Um, I did one about beginner rhythm um, and theory. So if you have not seen that, I'll put a link in the comments and you can go back and look. Um, at the very beginning, I have a review of flute embouchure or clarinet embouchure, whatever instrument uh, they play. Here's an example of clarinet. Now for the seventh and eighth graders, we start in sixth grade. So this is a review for them. So I don't do the color, but for the beginners, I use this nice color copy and a sheet protector, and then I reuse them from year to year. Uh, if you are doing Google Classroom or uh, Canvas or Schoology or any of those, you can upload the full color um, for the kids, but I just do a black and white copy in here. It has um, do's, things to remember, tips, and then the pictures for them. Um, and then there's also just a review quiz. So at the beginning of the year, we can just kind of go over and review what they should be looking for in their embouchure. Then we have the maintenance for their instruments. Again, this is full color. Uh, I don't have an example of that one, but um, so you can upload the full color image into your Google Classroom or your um, email or however you get that information to the kids. But in here, I just give them the black and white copy. Um, then we get into the, some of their playing music. This is for sight reading. So this is a product in on Teachers Pay Teachers. I'll put links in the comments to all the different things that I know where you can find them. Um, so if I if I can give you a link, I will. Um, and this has the rhythm and then it has playing with super simple notes. So it's hot cross buns, but all kinds of different variation of rhythm, but only using three notes. So it's working on rhythm, but also makes them read notes at the same time instead of just playing one note or just counting. Um, then there's twinkle twinkle ties, which works on ties. There's two variations. So there's actually three in the product, but I only put two in here for these kids. Um, so it has, this is, uh, different ties, like dotted quarters to quarters or quarters to quarters. And then this one has more of the 16th notes in it. And then itsy bitsy time is in six, eight time. I did level one and two on this one because we haven't done much six, eight time on the others. I did level two and three. So you can pick, it's one of the nice things with the printables. You can pick whatever works for your kids. If I was making this for beginners, I would have, you know, made, uh, easier, um, choices on those. Then I have some conducting in 4-4 time. We do this for conducting and to work on conducting, but also they're fun playing songs. And so it's written out for each instrument. And so you can see here, they would play this line and they can have a friend conduct. And there's two other pages um, when you get this that explain, it has links to the actual song and explains how to teach them how to conduct. But in their book, that's kind of more for the teacher. In their book, all they need is the music. Then we get into the tunes with a twist. I've only selected two. There are actually four collections of tunes with a twist, and I selected two um, for this group. I also plan to use the other two in a different way, but as far as the book that they're gonna get, um, I use the traditional tunes. And the way this is laid out is there's a solo melody part, and then there is a duet part. And so they can sight read this, they can sight read the duet, then they play it together. They can do it individually or um, often we'll do it just in band class. There's also a variation. So this has duet, duet now, and it has three key signatures, F, B flat, E flat, but the same song. So working on key signature. Um, so they can do the solo and duet part. And then there's one on each song that is a variation. So it takes the melody and it does a variation. It's usually either rhythm or it might put it in a minor key or it might put it in a different time signature like 6-8. Or if it's a 4-4 four, four song, it might put it in 3-4. So it really makes their brain work and they really enjoy the variations. And of course, they love playing duets with their friends or in band. Um, here's Old McDonald, same layout. Here the variation is in 3-4 time. And Three Blind Mice, which is in 6-8. And they've got their duet part and then the variation is a more technical version of the song. Then this is the classical. So the traditional version of Tunes with a Twist is the simplest songs that we have. Um, I usually do them at the end of Beginner Band, but because of the crazy end of the year, I did not get to them all. Um, so the classical is the most advanced book. So it is written more with, um, you know, third year players, fourth year players in mind. It could be for high school. Um, but I went ahead and printed it out for my 7th and 8th graders with the idea that this would be more like a six weeks project. We would pick one key signature that fits well for their instrument um, and they would work on that. Now we've also, um, there's a YouTube channel for Band Directors Talk Shop that has recordings of good players performing 
uh, samples of some of these songs. Most of the songs are on there. So we're going to make use of that. So they're going to have a video recording that they can use. It has, um, for these, it has it at full tempo and practice tempo. And then we can select um, an appropriate key signature. So if we have more advanced players, we can select one that's higher range or lower range or um, a more challenging key signature. And if it's one that uh, maybe just doesn't need quite that much of a challenge, we can select a key signature that they're more used to and a range that they're more comfortable with. Now I'm going through here showing you the flute book, but just to show you on clarinet. So on Teachers Pay Teachers, when you buy the license for Tunes with a Twist, you get all the instruments. So for example, you, you would in the clarinet book, you would just put the clarinet music. You don't have to buy anything extra. It's all included if you buy the bundle um, for each collection. So it takes care of the whole, the whole band. It seems like there was something else I was going to show you guys on the clarinet book, but um, uh, same thing with the rhythms, just that when you when you buy the set, often, if not always, um, on Band Director's Talk Shop, it includes it for every instrument. So read carefully, but um, usually it takes care of the whole band for you. All right, so then we get into some of just our own stuff from my program. So I'm going to skip over that. Um, we have scales with Clark studies, things like that. Then you get to the rhythm grids. Now, we include these on the beginners, and we include them on seventh grade, we include them on eighth grade, and the high school even started using them last year. They um, start simple, but it's a great review, even for kids that have done it. And because they're in this grid format, you can just count it regular, but you can also count it vertically. You can count it in reverse. You can count it this way. It's laid out so cleanly that the kids can follow it pretty much any direction. I've had classes do it diagonally just for fun. It's a little crazy, but they enjoy that. Um, and it's also just easy to work with as a group. You'll notice little stuff like it has every line clearly numbered where kids can find the line quickly. They're not trying to count to figure out which line you're on. Every single measure has a measure number. So you can instantly have, you know, 60 kids all at the same time in the same place because it's very clearly written um, for that. So little things like that. It has a subdivision at the top. So if you're trying to explain to them how things fit, you can show them there's constantly a subdivision. Um, it has 16th note, 6 eight time, all that. I'm going to skip over a few of those. These are just some extra rhythm sheets. Okay, then we get into the instrument specific section. So we have this for every instrument. So for flute, this is one. Now this is not um, something you can get online. This is something I have from where I used to teach. I'm not able to share that. But on the clarinet one, this is free on Teachers Pay Teachers. These clarinet warm-ups. There's level two, which I think of that mostly for like a second year, seventh grader. Um, and then you have level three, which is more for either an advanced seventh grader or a eighth grader, a third year student. Um, and then level four would be, you know, eighth grade, third year, or going into high school. Um, so I go ahead and put them all in here because different kids might use different things. And even if they don't use it with me in band, they might use it in their private lessons or whatever. Um, any other instrument specific stuff goes in this section. So um, I have this rules for choosing a clarinet fingering. This is also free on Teachers Pay Teachers. Again, I'll put the link in the comments. So um, you can grab that and uh, that's good for uh, clarinet players. So then we've got, um, let's come back over here. So on the flute book, one of the supplemental things we have that is available on Teachers Pay Teachers is um, this jingle up high. This is working on high flute range. So it's a fun way to get your, your flute players reading in the ledger lines. Now, this is one of the few instrument specific things that we have. Those clarinet warm ups is one, and this is one on Teachers Pay Teachers that is just flute or just clarinet. Usually it's the whole band. So this is specifically written for flute to help them with the higher ledger lines. Um, and it has kind of sort of high notes and then it has um, really high notes on a few of them. Then we've got some other information in there, supply lists, things like that. And then we go into our band music. Okay, so we've got our band music. And then at the very end, we've got some practice grids. Um, these are available to, um, to to add in and there's 10 in the set. I picked, looks like five. Thought we might try different, you know, different ones at different times, maybe do a one week challenge or something like that. Um, we'll see, I'm not sure I have, these are new, so I've never used these before. So we'll kind of see how that goes with the kids. Um, and then at the back, there's some, in, there's some uh, 
awards that you can give the kids and they're based on these stories and so this is one of the stories there's about five or six stories i only printed one to put in here but i'll probably read or tell the students the other ones throughout the year and then if i wanted to do an award or a recognition of a student those certificates are there but even if i don't they're just really good stories to uh, read with the kids and this is um uh, again you can print the story or you can read it and then there's a um certificate or an award if, if you do that kind of thing and then we have a fingering chart at the back and then on the very back I just have a quote that is um, a poster it's out of the growth mindset posters I'm trying to see if there's anything else over here in the clarinet book it looks like it's all about the same um, over here so that kind of gives you an idea um, again anything that you purchase at least in the band director's talk shop store that is um, printable that any of the anything you purchase there if you buy one license you can print it for every student in your program every year so once you buy it it's you can use it forever without having to buy it again unlike most of you know the old-fashioned publishing where you bought a book and then you had to buy one for every student or if it got old and got worn out you had to buy a new one this you just print a new one you can edit and pull like again with the tunes with the twist you know each of those collections has 10 to 20 songs but i just picked the three that i thought i would teach this year um so you can pick and choose and put together a notebook that works for your class and your ability so I will drop the links in the comments for anything that you can find online. I will also put links, uh, a link in the comment to the beginning band theory and rhythm book that I did before. Um, and hopefully that's helpful. Please in the comments, let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to help you out.